where tonight we're continue to follow breaking news here at five as we learn more about the deaths of three men found in the backyard of a Northland home. I'm John Holt and I'm Christelle Bell. The toxicology report is in police hands tonight. Fox Force Malik Jackson joins us now live from KCPD headquarters. Malik, what are you learning about that report that's out? John and Christelle, we have confirmed with multiple sources that the families of Clayton McGinney, Ricky Johnson and David Harrington were notified earlier this afternoon by detectives that the toxicology report is complete. Now, it is important to note that these reports are very detailed. So what has been given to these families is preliminary. But what we do know is that there were several substances found to be in these men's bodies, including the presence of cocaine. Now, let's take a step back here because we were given the timeline about six to eight weeks as to when we would get these results back. We haven't even passed the fourth week mark just yet. Moving forward, this will allow KCPD to finish their investigation and pass this case off to prosecutors. It's crucial that we know that this comes one day after these families, in fact, met with the prosecuting attorney there in Platte County. After that meeting concluded, these families said that they were satisfied. And one day later, here we are with these reports. We're reaching reached out to KCPD. They had little to say about this development, but they did confirm that they have been in contact with these men's families. Now, there is a, an important person when we talk about next steps, and that is Jordan Willis, the man who lived inside of this home. Yesterday, we reported that he checked into rehab, and now we have these toxicology reports um, detailing what may have happened to his three friends. We also do know from a source that they have determined a cause of death, but they have not released that just yet. We reached out to Jordan Willis's attorney, and at this time, we have not heard back. John, Christelle. Malik, you mentioned originally we were thinking six to eight weeks on this toxicology report, which is pretty typical. All of a sudden it shows up. Any indication as to why was it was it expedited for some reason? That's a question that we at this time really don't have an answer to because as you know through our reporting we had reached out to the medical examiner multiple times and each time we reached out they had the same line that no one person's death is more important than another person's death so this, this was going to take the standard amount of time from six to eight weeks but as we mentioned this is less than four weeks and you know this case has drawn national attention and it has been um, very important for police and for prosecutors to get these results as far as what the next steps would be. But again, it, you'd have to believe that they did expedite this process because from everything we heard since the day that these men were found is that these reports would take six to eight weeks. But again, here we are, less than four weeks from when they were found in the backyard of that Northland home, we have these toxicology reports. All right, Malik Jackson, live at KCPD headquarters tonight. Malik, thanks.